Here we are at the corners of Orange Thorpe and Beach Boulevard, just minutes away from the groundbreaking ceremony to one of the most anticipated building projects for the City of Buena Park. How will this impact the community? Stay tuned and learn more on this edition of Inside Buena Park. Hi, I'm Serene Mercado and welcome to this edition of Inside Buena Park. As you can see, we're here at the very place where the groundbreaking ceremony for the source will be taking place. Right behind me, you can see the celebration has already started. Everyone's very excited for this new place where they say it's going to be world-class shopping, dining and entertainment, as well as many new jobs for all of our residents. So let's go talk to some of these people and find out what this is all about. If you've driven by the corners of Orange Thorpe and Beach Boulevard lately, you may have noticed new walls and signage along the undeveloped land on the northeast corner. It's all because a long-awaited building project in the city of Buena Park is finally getting started. When completed, the source is planned to be one of the grandest high-tech shopping, dining and entertainment venues in North Orange County. Developed by M&D Properties, the whole process to get to this point, when they could finally break ground, went through many phases of development and planning. I spoke with May Huey, the former Redevelopment Agency Director of Buena Park. Tell us a little bit more about the processes to getting uh, the area and everything prepared for what we're doing today. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, this area has been designated as a redevelopment area for I think the last uh, 25 or so years, 28 years. And so as a result, the city always envisioned a special project here. Um, there were several uses along the uh, Beach Boulevard that were run down and did not project a very good image when you're entering into the community. So it was a really important project. So uh, after we entered into an agreement with M&D, uh, we acquired several of the parcels that were necessary to do the project. One bringing the Franklin Motel, it was an old motel with lots of uh, issues as far as crime and code enforcement. We also had a car wash here. Those was a very good use. It just wasn't the right use for the entry to our city. So um, it's going to project a whole new image for our community as people come into uh, Buena Park from the 91 freeway and along Beach Boulevard. And that's one of the other key things about the source is the location. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about, what, about why this specific area was selected? Well really it's, um, it's about a mile from uh, Knott's Ferry Farm. We, are, uh, we have acquired several properties along Beach Boulevard so we really want to upgrade the entire entertainment area. So this is really a catalyst to that. The environment at the reception was lively and entertaining with several monitors showing what the M&D Properties vision of the source will be. And the party continues here at the groundbreaking ceremony for the source. And I have here with me Joel Rosen, which is the director of the co of community development. Um, Joel, can you tell us a little bit about the general plan? Because I know that um, we've been hearing uh, not only is it going to um, affect the, the economy as well as jobs, can you tell us a little bit more details about that? Sure. Um, this project is really going to be the anchor for our entertainment corridor. We've been planning and talking about development along Beach Boulevard uh, as part of our comprehensive general plan and, and specifically about the entertainment corridor and growing the entertainment corridor. Our goal is to grow this area from about 6 million visitors to about 11 million visitors per year. And this project is going to be a game changer for the city because it is going to be the anchor on the northern part of our, our corridor. It's going to bring in 5,000 jobs. It's going to create an economic engine that will drive the rest of the development along Beach Boulevard. So we're really excited about this project. Uh, it's going to be critical, really, to our, our long-term plans for the, for the community. I could sense your excitement. You know, I've been working on this for five years. Absolutely. Five years. I started with the city five years ago. And day one, they said, this is the project you need to get done. And so we got it through the approval process in two is. years. 
got slowed down a little bit because of the recession, Absolutely. and now we're here, and I am very excited. Here I am with Beth Swift, Mayor Pro Tem, as well as a lifelong resident of the city of Buena Park. Can you tell us a little bit about what we could expect um, as, as it comes to um, the source and enhancing the city of Buena Park? Well, bringing in Macy's is their big accomplishment, and that will uh, provide a really nice, um, higher end avenue for people to spend money and of course by having Macy's here other stores that are name brands will want to come and be a part of Buena Park too so that it means good things for us. Absolutely and we also know that it's located in an ideal place right off the freeway. What do you think about the exact location that was selected? It's an interesting location because I live across the street. <laughs> And I told my husband, when Macy's comes in, that's the last money you're going to ever have <laughs> because it's going to be spent down the street. Right. But no, it has freeway visibility and Beach Boulevard is so well traveled with tourists going to Knott's Berry Farm. So it's a great location. It was soon time for the presentation of the project and some words from the developers and local dignitaries. Kathy Wanamaker of Greenland Property Management spoke about the innovation people will find at the source. Talking about innovation, let me introduce you to the source. The source will be a true mixed-use urban retail center here in the heart of Buena Park. You will experience fresh and unexpected urban streets and alleyways, unique entertainment venues all connected together by cutting-edge, future-oriented technology defining the future of the great American city. The source will lead the way for cities to build and understand the newest wave of true mixed-use developments. It will encompass retail shopping, entertainment, cultural, residential, hotel and office co closely intertwined to create real density and synergy of uses, emphasizing the urban character of the project and setting the stage for positive and healthy growth throughout the region. The source will lead the way for cities to build and understand the newest use of true mixed-use developments. Here at the corner of Beach and Orangethorpe, the visitor will discover powerful and unique urban spaces embedded into a dense urban fabric. Different spaces and areas will have their own specific character and innovative architecture that will appeal to diverse community members help to curate a unique shopping experience within each space and encourage people to return again and again to explore, meet families, friends, and shop. The urban spaces will be connected by pathways of different scales, materials, shops, digital expressions, and pockets of art. The source will be the source for a vision that is specifically about powerful human experience. Exciting new architecture, a great shopping and entertainment experience. Representative Ed Royce of the 40th District of California mentioned the location of the source as well as the innovation it promises. Think about this, people are gonna get off the freeway right here in Buena Park and the first thing they're gonna see is the rendition you saw, which I don't think does this project justice. Because what we are going to be talking about is high tech, a high tech type experience that is going to be unique to this area with respect to this project. Mayor Jim Dow mentioned his connection to the field, as he put it, and a little history the land the source will occupy. You know, everybody comes up here and talks about the, the the source and the future, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the past. At least three of, of our city council members sitting right here in this front row, well, two of them, played in this field as we were kids. And this was just known as the field. Of course, Fred lived at the other end of the town. He had the cabbage patch, so we called him the cabbage patch kid. Actually, we called him the bully, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> you know, it's been waiting a long time for something to come to this field. Excuse me for referring to it as a field, but that's what, it'll be that to me forever. We've waited a long time, but this dirt's probably waited about 50 million years to have something built here. 
I think, you know, when I got on council and this first came to, to in front of us, we had uh, um, former Mayor Art Brown, which is sitting over here, former Mayor Patsy Marshall, former Mayor Don McKay. This come in front of us and we thought, wow, this will never happen. <laughs> but here we are, probably five or six years later, and we're, st we're starting into phase one of this project. City manager Jim Vanderpool believes the new project signifies a new era for Buena Park. Thank you very much and thank you for certainly including the city in this monumental celebration. I think that Father Olson uh, summarized it best that we do stand here in awe today. Uh, we stand in awe of a project that is a catalyst project to bolster Buena Park and this community um, into a new era. A new era that uh, this city council and the former city council and their vision had for the potential of Buena Park and what they saw as Buena Park and we know what Buena Park will be in the future. Lead designer Jonathan Ward described the different inspirations for the uniqueness of the design of the source. The architecture itself is inspired by some of the great cities of the world. You can imagine the, the energy of Times Square in New York combined with the, 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 the peaceful community nature of the High Line in New York. You can imagine the, the digital um, uh, uh, you know, sort of artistic characterization of Shinjuku and Toko, Tokyo connected with the, the winding streets of the shopping districts of Seoul. You can imagine the, the energy of density and vibrancy of Hong Kong connected, to, connected with the spirit of Southern California. And that spirit connects all these things together to create something unique to Buena Park. And I think architecture will be unique in that it's, it's taking modern technology, future vision technology, together with how people are comfortable and excited to be in a city. One more time. Okay, a little bit more action. All right. Let's do this. Okay, Beth. Yes. And please look at me. Look at me. Here we go. Yes. Thank you, Bear. Here we go. One, two, three. Very good. Let's do it. Very good. Perfect. Hey, I'm down wind. I got the wrong. <laughs> This has definitely been the most exciting, groundbreaking ceremony I have attended. And for those of you who didn't know, the city of Buena Park has been named as one of the most fun small towns across America. And with this new project of The Source, we can be sure that it will definitely leave its mark on the map. So thanks for watching. This is Serene Mercado bringing you The Source Groundbreaking here in Inside Buena Park.